Now I pass the floor to the NATO Secretary General, Mr. Jens Stoltenberg. Please. Andre, it's a pleasure to be back in Warsaw to meet with all the B9 heads of state and government and also with President Biden. And then, Joe, I would like to say to you that I'm so uh, pleased and so impressed by the outstanding leadership uh, you show and your visit to Kiev uh, sent a clear message of steadfast support to Ukraine and America's ironclad, uh, ironclad commitment to the security of uh, Europe. Let me also thank you for uh, hosting the next uh, uh, NATO summit after Vilnius in the United States. Uh, one year since uh, the launch of Russia's invasion, President Putin is not preparing for peace. On the contrary, he is preparing for more war. So we must sustain and step up our support for Ukraine. We must give Ukraine what they need uh, to prevail. We don't know when uh, the war will end, but when it does, we need to ensure that history does not repeat itself. We have seen the Russian pattern uh, of aggression over many years. Georgia in 2008, Crimea and Donbass in 2014, and then the full-fledged invasion of Ukraine last year. We cannot allow Russia to continue to chip away at European security. We must break the cycle of Russian aggression. NATO allies have never been more united. We will protect every inch of allied territory based on our Article 5 commitment to defend each other, one for all and all for one. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mr. Secretary General.